Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. This episode, we're filming from the London office of Weira, a startup accelerator powered by Telefonica. Weira will be expanding to Greater Manchester, Birmingham and Cheltenham in 2017. In investment news, Signal Media, an AI-powered news monitoring platform, raised £5.8 million. The Series A round drew support from VCs including MMC Ventures, Hearst Ventures and Local Globe. Newsflare received £2.4 million in funding from Edge Investments. The online video marketplace enables media companies and content creators to purchase user-generated video. Health tech startup Medshare raised a £1.5 million seed round. The firm launched out of Founders Factory in August last year and enables medical professionals to share knowledge and expertise. Electronics manufacturer E2V Technologies is set to be acquired by Teledyne Technologies for £620 million. The terms of the deal will see the Chelmsford-based firm's shareholders receive 275 pence per share. Manchester City Council has allocated £4 million for the creation of two tech hubs in the city. The funding will be used to create facilities that will host and incubate tech startups and SMEs, aiming to create 2,000 jobs over the next 10 years. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates announced a $1 billion clean tech investment fund. The fund, called Breakthrough Energy Ventures, will invest in startups seeking to create cheaper and cleaner energy. Our download of the week is Scalable Capital's investing app. The app enables users to access and check their portfolio valuation and returns on the go in real time. And finally, your next debit card could be delivered in a slightly unorthodox way, as Starling Bank has been testing drone delivery. The aim is to provide the most efficient and environmentally friendly means of providing new customers with their cards. That's it for this week's episode. For more technology news, visit our website and follow us on Twitter.